Okay, I'm back with another unboxing video, and this time I have the Apple Watch Ultra 2, of course, in the new black satin finish. So, I have had the Apple Watch Ultra 1 in the natural titanium, this is the original one, and I've paired this with the Series 7 that I used to have in the gold stainless steel, which I have since upgraded to the Series 10. This is, of course, obviously also in the gold stainless steel color. This is a 46 millimeter version. And, um, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I guess, in a privileged position to be able to use two watches. I had the Series 7 for a couple of years before the Ultra Original came out. And I was very excited about the rugged new look, the longer battery life. And I have enjoyed that about the Ultra. So since getting the Series 10, I do like it a lot. But I was very excited to try out the new black color of the Ultra 2, just to have a different look and to be able to use it in different scenarios if I'm out hiking or doing some uh, long runs for my half marathon training and things like that. So with the Apple Watch Ultras, Apple have done a great job with the unboxing experience. So uh, again, without much further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so that was the unboxing of the Apple Watch Ultra in satin black. Pretty standard unboxing experience if you've ever seen any other Apple Watch Ultra unboxings. But yeah, the first impression of the watch is that it is pretty sleek. So obviously I got it here with the, I think it's the Dark Forest uh, Alpine Loop. And I do like the Alpine Loops. Of course, the hardware on the loops are uh, satin black titanium to match the body of the watch itself. I do have the original, I don't even know what the color of this was, green, I guess, uh, Alpine Loop that went with the Apple Watch Ultra 1 and natural titanium. So yeah, it's a pretty cool look. Um, the black body of the watch kind of makes the watch seem a little bit almost more thin. Obviously, it's still a big watch. So I'll put it on again on the wrist with the... Uh, Alpine loop as you can see now my wrist size is about uh, 100 I want to say it's just under 170 millimeters maybe 168 or something like that about six and a half inches so you know um, I'm the first one to admit that I don't have the biggest wrist but I do think that the watch ultra it kind of works you know um, it's probably as big as I can go so that's just kind of a frame of reference but of course if you want to you know rock it you are free to rock it. One thing I will say that this, I don't know if it's because of the coating on it, but getting the strap on into the watch was pretty tight. There's a lot of uh, friction there. So while I have these other watch straps here, ooh, yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and try a couple of other straps just to see what it looks like. So here I have the Nomad strap. So. You know, it's also a green color. This one, um, I'll put the name of the color in the video, but I'm not sure actually what the name of the color is, I forget. But that's how it looks with that. Pretty cool look, I think. Yeah, the green goes well with that. 
this green color kind of goes well with the natural titanium uh, Apple Watch Ultra as well. Next I do have just a couple of um, leather links that I think Apple have discontinued now. So here's the Midnight leather link, which I think goes really well with the gold watch. I don't know that I would pair these two, the Apple Watch Ultra with the Midnight leather link. But you know, if you wanted to dress it up a little bit, I think with the black watch you kind of can dress it up a little bit. So that's a look at what that looks like. And on the side profile you can see how much the Ultra kind of sticks out compared to the standard Series 10, but that's the Midnight Link. And actually, before I do the brown leather link, maybe I won't even do that, kind of curious to see what an all-black look would look like with one of the Apple's uh, sport bands in black. We'll see what that looks like. And I can see the watch is getting kind of smudged up from all my handling. But here's what an all-black look kind of looks like. Yeah, that's pretty sleek. Uh, I don't usually do all-black watches. I mean, I don't really wear mechanical watches that much anyway, but of course I have the Series 10 in gold and I had the Series 7 in gold as well. So uh, this is kind of a different look for me and pretty cool. So that's a look at the Midnight Strap. So yeah. That is a look. I'm going to go ahead and power it on and I will probably go ahead and set it up as well. And I think I'll be back maybe, you know, in a future video where I can kind of compare between the Apple Watch Ultra and Ultra 2 in the black satin color. I don't know that there'll be a lot of differences or observances between this one and the natural one other than aesthetically. I know the there are some minor upgrades between the Ultra 1 and the Ultra 2. I don't actually remember off the top of my head what, the, what those upgrades were from last year. But uh, I know there will be some updates with that. But more importantly, I'm kind of curious to see what the experience like is like comparing the Series 10, which I've really enjoyed, you know, with the Ultra. You know, I think the Series 10 is a little bit dressly, dressier. It is a lower profile watch, of course, you know, kind of fits in more with, you know, all kinds of wardrobes and things like that. Um, whereas this one is a little bit more rugged looking. So if you are into bigger, bulkier looking watches, which I don't mind all the time, you know, I, sometimes I like that look. Um, this is a pretty cool bet. So yeah, that's my first look and uh, first impressions. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty sleek looking watch. I do think I prefer the black color over the natural titanium. Of course, this is a matter of preference. The natural titanium is still very beautiful, if you ask me. Um, looks very industrial and goes well with a lot of watch straps as well. Whereas with the black, I think the black goes with all kinds of watch straps as well. But, um, you know, they're both kind of neutral colors, but I think the natural titanium probably fits in with more watch bands than the black satin does. Um, but yeah, pretty excited to try it out. So hope to help some of you out there. Thanks for watching.